As students return to school following the crash, the painful memories still remain. Dad, we've been hit by a truck. A lot of people are hurt. Parents of the 16 St. Ignatius College Prep students injured in a school bus crash recounting what happened November 12th. Mom, it is really bad. It's really, bit, really bad. And to hear that come from a 14 or 15 year old boy was so hard to hear. Myself and another mom did not know if our boys were alive. It was like a war zone. You got these boys that are crying and shaking. The junior varsity hockey team was in a tournament in Indiana when a semi truck barreled through a red light, flipping the bus on its side. Authorities say the truck driver, Victor Santos, was speeding at more than 90 miles per hour and had a blood alcohol level nearly twice the legal limit. What responsible trucking company would allow this man to drive? We're going to find answers to that. Families of the 16 students injured and their two coaches filing this three count lawsuit today saying Santos, a registered sex offender who was charged in multiple felonies and had previous safety citations, should have never been on the road. I would never want to see that man out of jail, nor would I ever want to see him behind the wheel of any vehicle again. With one student still in the hospital, many players suffering from broken bones, ribs, skull fractures, and other head injuries with months of recovery ahead, the emotional trauma, parents say, will last forever. He said, Dad, LJ was covered in blood and screaming, I'm going to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Weeks from now, when he has to revisit that memory, what do you say? Stephanie Wade, ABC7 Eyewitness News.